think you need to look at the future. Where do you want to be when this is over? What, what's your vision of the future of the city? That's likely, I think, to lead you to either a boulevard or a full tunnel. A partially depressed sounds like a compromise, but it can be the worst of all worlds. Uh, near Philadelphia, in downtown Philadelphia, there's a portion of I-95 that they rebuilt below grade, and if they had done it 10 more feet, it would have been magic, and they just they wouldn't do didn't it. quite do it right. Yeah. So it's kind of not fully under, and yeah. it still yeah. cuts the city off from the water, uh, the, the river that's there. It's still the a visual river. barrier. And, and uh, it's not such a bad visual barrier, but you can't walk out to the edge. It can't yeah. connect the way it does in yeah. Boston. So uh, my instinct, dangerous since I haven't, right, you haven't been, been there, there recently, uh, is uh, my instinct is that uh, if you can tolerate the traffic at grade, the boulevard is attractive because it's less difficult to build, not just less expensive, but takes less time, less disruptive. Uh, if if that will work from a traffic and an urban compatibility point of view, you don't want an accurate highway that pedestrians can't cross. Right. But if the traffic is modest enough that you can handle that at grade, that's pretty attractive. Uh, if you go full tunnel, you'll have much, much nicer options when it's over, but constructing a tunnel is tough. You'll have a, a worse time in the interim, and you'll have a, a much more expensive proposition. That's what they're doing in Seattle. I haven't been out there lately, yeah. but that, that's the yeah. option they chose. Yeah, and, and the tunnel uh, was a, a little bit dismissed in the preliminary DOT engineering look. Cost was one factor, but it was also that they looked at Syracuse's history, which is different than here, but there was also some swampy wetland, yeah. you know, going back 150 years or so. Yeah, well uh, and there's some concern, how, I mean, at least it, that was articulated that, well, what if, what if water, what if this is soft land down there and we can't, we can't work a tunnel? No, that's, that's a technical issue that's very solvable. I mean, our, a good part of our, our, our tunnel to the harbor is clearly under the water. Right. Uh, the tunnel under where the elevated artery used to be is below the water table. If you dig down 10 feet, you find groundwater. That thing is down 100 feet. So you, you build it properly, you dewater it. You have to dewater it in an ongoing way. There's no such thing as a tunnel that doesn't leak. So it's an ongoing And the engineers don't like it because it's an operating expense, which is a legitimate concern. But you really got to look at the... The big thing is, uh, the most precious asset you have is the city. What's the city you want to have in the future when this is done? If that calls for a tunnel, you go for the tunnel. If the, if the boulevard is adequate, it's less expensive, much less expensive to maintain, less disruptive to construct, but if you can't handle the traffic, or it's going to be miserable for pedestrians to cross, it's not a good solution.